Before starting your project, here's a few recommendations. Be sure to allow ample time for your project. When we rented this tool, we were considering a four hour rental and we were glad that we opted instead for the full day rental. It took us longer than we first thought. Be sure and follow all the safety guidelines. Uh, again, this uh, hardware store, which is Home Depot in our case, gave us a link to a video to watch uh, to familiarize ourselves with the equipment and you know going over some of the safety guidelines and things like that. Be sure to wear your safety equipment, gloves, hearing protection, eye protection, work shoes, anything you deem appropriate for this type of work. Before digging, call 811 or in our case in the state of Texas you can go to this website. They provide services that come out for free and locate any buried lines like gas lines, phone lines, electric lines, etc. And mark any known objects in your yard like sprinkler heads, valves, or otherwise. This will ensure that you have a successful project. project came out successful. We were able to get the side cut out to the depth that we wanted. We initially realized that we were cutting too deep and we were able to get the adjustment on the cutter and get what we wanted. And we also found out one tip uh, that might be helpful for you. Instead of rolling the sod in rolls, we used a small hand axe and cut the sod in a small section. Another tip, uh, this thing is somewhat of a beast. It weighs around 350 to 400 pounds, so if you have a trailer or you're thinking about putting it in the back of a pickup, you definitely want to rent some ramps, and it's a good idea to have some help available uh, when you pick this thing up. <laughs> 